Okay, so we are seeing interesting things happening around the country. People are mobilized, they're uh, protesting, they're marching in Capitol buildings across the country. They've got their signs, many different kinds of messages I'm noticing here, but they're calling themselves the resistance. All right, the resistance. Uh, that doesn't sound like compromise to me necessarily, Thomas. What do you make of these mass protests going on around the country? Everybody has to follow the dictates of their conscience. If they feel like going out and they're energized about something, I applaud that. We need more engagement in our in our country. We need people more engaged in all the issues, but we have to be civil and respectful about it when we get there. And we have to be willing to listen to the other side. If we think we're always right, then we're starting from a place of weakness. So let's listen to other people and try to understand their point of view. Senator, do you like the approach that they're taking? Is it having an impact? Is it positive, negative? Kind of give us the play on this. I, I think there's the resistance, but there are also very concerned citizens that feel like their voice is not being heard. And I think at the root of that in, in Utah, I'll just speak for here, because of the gerrymandering when we're reapportioning, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I live in Salt Lake County and I share the same representative in Congress as the people in Navajo Mountain near the Arizona border. And I think that's what frustrates people. So some of them, yes, they're part of a movement. I think others are just very concerned citizens that want to express their concerns to Congress. And when we try and call, no one answers, we're put on hold, or they just say their vo voicemail's full, they can't answer at this time. And I think it's a frustration for mm -hmm. people. Do you think it's having the impact they want? Yeah, I do. Uh, look, democracy, freedom of assembly, it's guaranteed in the Constitution. I love that people are engaged to the point where they're willing to get away from the TV, to put down their cell phone, well, maybe they're taking it with them, but <laughs> <Probably>. uh, <laughs> going out and saying, this is what I stand for. I, I, I applaud it, I think it's fantastic, and I do think that it has caught the attention of elected leaders. Now, what they choose to do with that, mm -hmm. I mean, it's one thing to wave your, your hands in front of somebody's face, it's another thing to actually take their message seriously. So um, th that next level of engagement is what needs to happen. So what do these elected officials do? So these, some of these have been a little bit active, right? These, these protests, some of them are saying, hey, we can't do these town halls anymore, you know, or we can't meet with them directly. You know, Congressman Chaffetz had his experience here. What are they supposed to do, these elected officials? They show up. They show up. And they keep showing up. They yeah. absolutely, and answer the questions. Take absolutely. it. Absolutely, yeah. But we have to be civil. They have to feel safe and they have to feel respected too. They're people, they are elected officials, they do need to answer tough mm -hmm. questions, that's what they ran to do, but we need civility and we need to listen as much as we're talking or as much as we're protesting. If we all do that, we'll understand each other better and that will create a better result. Then mm -hmm. they need to, during the year, uh, contact their people, have, mm -hmm. have more of them, not just show up once in a while. I think they need to have more communication with their constituents. Uh, always, always helpful. Mm -hmm. Very. We, had, we, had, a reporter, a, we had a reporter who actually called uh, one of the senator's offices and it rang and it rang yep. and it rang, rang. I mean, it's frustrating, yep. and you can see that sort of bubbling up and building mm -hmm. up, and people. It feeds that. It does. Feeling, doesn't it? It does. Mm -hmm. oh, very, very good counsel. Thank you very much for taking a moment on this very important issue.